literally started raining the second we got into our site. Yeah. Who loves setting up in the rain? <laughs> no, nobody. Yeah. This, I mean, I do have to say though, another great thing about the truck camper is it has an awning that like actually works. <laughs> yeah, and we're not scared to put it out in the rain or wind. Yeah, and like it's low enough where it provides coverage. I feel like the other one was so high up that like even if you do put it out, well A, it was like super, thought it was going to break. Yeah. Uh, but then B, it was so high up that the rain was still just like coming sideways and get you. So, anyway, <laughs> yeah, the awning's only like half out, I would say, right now, yeah. too. Yeah. Well, you know, to be honest, I'm not that bummed about the rain uh, just because I feel like since we've been living in, in Florida for the last year and a half, like we're used to these afternoon storms. However, the only thing I'm bummed about is I wanted to walk and use the trolleys and go get, like, a cocktail. But, we'll just wait. We'll have to wait for the storm to pass. You know? Yeah, luckily, <laughs> they seem to blow through if it's, uh, right now it's dry season, too, so hopefully yeah. uh, it'll end rather shortly. But it, it drops a lot of water. It does. A lot. Very fast. And Carmen hates the thunder, which... So the rain stopped. We took Carmen on a little decompression walk mm -hmm. after sitting in the truck all day. And we ventured up to... Uh, the <laughs> American Hall, Fort Hall. I don't know. I Hall, Freedom it's... Hall. Mm. No. Doesn't sound right either. I don't know. Pioneer well, Hall. Pioneer Hall. That sounds closer. Yes. No, I think that's it. All right, okay. so Pioneer Hall, which <laughs> is kind of like their main uh, food establishment area. yeah uh there was a little bit more going on previously like 10 days ago they said their main like sit down restaurant closed and they're refurbishing everything yeah so, so now it's just a bar crockett yes. something crockett's tavern <laughs> and it's also the area where you have like a little general store and all of that uh and where you would board the boat to go to the magic kingdom yes so that is something that's kind of cool. We didn't realize that until we got here and we were checking in. They were explaining everything. Like, you take the buses to the other three parks, but then you can take the boat to Magic Kingdom right from the campground. Yeah. So if you're going to that park, like, that is a huge plus that you don't have to fight those other crowds getting right. there. Right, right. Uh, so... Overall, though, we've learned a couple of things, uh, and we'd like to pass them on to you. We did very little, if any, research before coming here. Yeah, like uh, literally none. I just researched right. how to book the site, and that was it. And by the way, this is the most expensive campground we've stayed yeah. at. So that's number one. Yeah. It's expensive. <laughs> yes. Um, we're paying $99 a night for water and electric. And this is uh, shoulder season. It's like one of their slowest seasons. Yes. We're in the pop-up camper tent section. Yeah, so, so if you have like a van or a, yeah. a smaller rig, like you can go into, they call it a pop-up tent, but it's really like, it's paved halfway right. and then gravel the other half. Yeah. So you have a place to like park your car and set up your tent, or you can just park whatever right. RV, small RV in whatever section. Yep. that you want yeah and as ray said uh, no sewer yes. and we're only here for two days so we don't need it yeah so that doesn't matter yeah uh number two i oh, was gonna emphasize gonna go though <laughs> that <laughs> that's still shoulder season pricing yep. cheapest pricing no sewer and then when i was looking online like the highest prices for the premium sites were still like i think it got up to a couple hundred dollars a night so yeah if you're gonna stay here like just be prepared for that, you know? Right. And if you're coming for a Disney vacation, though, like, if you have your camper, it's still 
the cheapest places to st one of the cheapest places to stay in the Disney Resort area. And yeah. So you get all the benefits of staying in a Disney Resort by staying here. Right. Like early access and all the rest of that. Uh, right. And you jazz. still get like it's still really nice. Yeah. Everyone's super friendly. So like you're still getting that Disney experience even outside of the parks. Right. Okay. What was all your right. second point? Number two. <laughs> Fort Wilderness is huge. Oh my gosh. When we, uh, like you can go on the app and say like, oh, give me directions to Pioneer Hall. And it gives you directions for like walking or by bus. Mm -hmm. And it said <laughs> it would take us 20 minutes to walk. Yeah. Uh, we ended up hopping on a bus and it took uh, like five minutes because it took some secret back road that's not even on the map. Like we'll show you a picture of like the map. We're just up in the woods with no road. Yeah. And so, and that was just pure pure luck we were just like let's just hop on that bus it says pioneer hall on it but yeah. the whole rest of the campground like if you're trying to get to like you say your friends are staying here or you're trying to get around it is definitely a campground where if you have an e-bike or even just a regular bicycle or a uh, golf cart mm -hmm. I you would can bring, bring a golf yeah. cart yeah and you can rent them right yeah. if you're thinking about like moving or like you know hanging out in the campground and going right. to all the different things they have here yeah, they have I a ton say, of kid activities, obviously. At mo like, I would say golf carts are not, like, really needed at most campgrounds, even some of the bigger ones. This is probably one of the biggest campgrounds we've stayed at and mm -hmm. one of the only ones that I would spend money for a golf cart. Yeah, if we were, like, we're going to the park tomorrow, and then obviously, like, we're staying one more night and leaving. But if we were staying here and, like, had an interest in doing the activities or had children and you needed to get them around, like... Yep. A golf cart is definitely the way to do it. Yes, absolutely. Uh, number three, uh, make sure you check out the campground's amenities. So go up to Pioneer Hall. We're hoping to do, they have like a dinner show here called the Hoop D Review or something like that. Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, so something we're hoping like to do that tomorrow if we can get reservations, but. Yeah, I had good us, reviews. Yeah, last and we minute. We figured why not. Um, <laughs> And then, yeah, you can go up to, Pi right next to Pioneer Hall is their trading post where you can get, uh, this is actually food. So we bought breakfast for tomorrow because we're going to wake up and go to the park. So it's like eggs and sausage and bread and all that. Yeah. So. Yeah. So yeah. those are our tips so far. guys it's Disney Day. Are you excited? Very excited. <laughs> we're starting off our morning with a brisk walk because we're not going to get enough walking in today. Right, right. Um, now just once again the campgrounds are huge so <laughs> bring your bikes or uh, get a golf, golf cart. cart. Yeah. I mean you can take the buses but you will be waiting around and we're just like really impatient yeah. so plus we're a lot closer to the front than we are the back. Yeah. Um, so, no big deal to walk to the bus. They have transportation to all the parks in the front of Fort Wilderness. Yeah. So, that is where we're headed. And we are going to Universal. No. no. We have Universal park. Passes, yeah. so my brain's always there. <laughs> Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, we've been to Hollywood Studios before. We like it. I feel like it's the most, like, rides park. Yeah. I guess. Um, or the most adult ride park. Yeah. We've officially now been to all four parks yep. here, which is nice because we took forever to get to Animal Kingdom and we finally got to visit there. And um, yeah, so we are only actually here because we went to Animal Kingdom with Jason's sister who came out for a visit. And then when we were buying our tickets, it said it was literally like 20, we, what? We were Florida residents now. Yeah. And so we got a Florida residents offer for like 20 bucks extra for another park. Yeah. On, so. on any day, like used yeah. within a month. So we we're like, mm, okay. So that's why we're here. We really wanted to check out Fort Wilderness. And so we're actually here more so for Fort Wilderness yeah. rather than the park, but we're still gonna go into the park um, and have some fun today. Yeah. Uh, I think the first thing, though, is that we need some coffee. We do. 
We need some coffee really bad. Yesterday was exhausting, as most <laughs> Disney days are, but uh, we, or at least I, very much enjoyed it. It was our <laughs> second time to this park. I enjoyed it. And I think that going back a second time to a theme park is one of my favorites, because the first time that we always go, we try to plan it out and like hit every ride we can, and it just kind of all blurs together. And you're seeing everything new and all that. But the second time, we tend to take things a little bit more slowly, maybe catch a couple of rides we missed, or go on the ones we thought were the most fun. But we get to explore some more of the nooks and crannies of the park, and we take our time to look around at all of the, the world building that they do. And I, I enjoy that a lot more. Anyway, uh, hence why we bought a house in Orlando, because I like theme parks, if you can't tell. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, we're, we're here, we're packing up, we're getting ready to go. Uh, I said it before, packing up the truck camper is so much easier than the fifth wheel. We're already done, I think. Yeah, yeah. just gotta bring Jax up. So, um, so we're probably gonna take Karen for a quick little walk and then bring the Jax up and head out. Oh, yeah. So but, weird fly thing. Uh, but before we go, we're gonna take a tour through the campground yeah. just to show all of them, like, a little bit more of the park yeah. and gives give our last minute like tips and tricks yeah. for staying here. Sorry, I'm distracted. Uh, <laughs> the campgrounds is just like Disney um, land, the Fort Wilderness. They, they craft your experience, right? They try to make the best it can for you. Um, and what they're doing right now is they just brought in a bunch of bales of pine, pine needles. needles. And so I thought it was so hilarious because, like, you look at it and you're like, every single day we saw them, like, or, you know, the one day we were here, we saw them blowing the pine needles off the road back into, like, around the campsites. None of them are in your campsites, but it's, like, that filler area in between campsites. Yeah, and there's, like, not a lot of pine trees here. And we're well, like, this there's is... a lot, but they're all no, green. No, not like, enough they're... for how many. We true. knew. Yeah. I think we were catching on. We just had no idea that yeah. they were bringing them in. We yeah. just thought that they had accumulated for, like, months and months and months. But... And so, like, our campsite here has these, like, you know, they're really nice, crafted. But uh, the campsites next to us don't. Like, they do have pine needles because there are pine trees. But it's not, like, fully packed in, like, here. Anyway, so they're, they're taking the big old bales of pine needles and they're laying them out and spreading them out. And I think it's, it's great because it definitely makes you feel like you're a lot more rustic than you right. are you're sitting in Orlando and yeah um it definitely adds to the experience yeah it makes it feel like one of our the, like national forest campgrounds you know yeah but very curated I don't know kind of cool I guess yeah so, kind of funny but kind of yeah, cool I mean there's a market out there Disney is apparently buying pine, pine needles e so if you want to sell pine needles try to get on that Disney list <laughs> So I wanted to give you some reference um, how, to how big this park is. So I think based on the numbers, like the 100s are up here, 
and the 2800s are down here. So I think we're looking at close to 3000 sites if, you know, that's how they do their numbering. So you come in here and we were actually right here in the 2000s, but you still have like all of this. And this is where like the Pioneer Hall is and a bar and the little grocery store slash souvenir shop. Um, and then this is where you can take the boat to Magic Kingdom. And then if you're going to any of the other three parks, you have to come down here and you can catch a bus. And that's what we did yesterday. And it was really easy. You know, obviously Disney has their bus system on point and on schedule and everything like that. And then you take a bus system within the park to get to your different numbers. So depending on where, what park you're going to, that might depend on like where you want to stay in the park. Um, so if we were going to Magic Kingdom, I think it'd be really cool to stay up here and take the boat over. And obviously if you are not going to have a golf cart or a bike, you might want to stay closer down here so you can walk to the buses like we did. Now yesterday we did walk from here to here, but along the way we did get passed by our bus that would have taken us down here. So if you're, if you have patience using the internal bus system, like isn't bad either. But if you don't have patience and you want to kind of get your extra steps in, then you can definitely walk the park. Um, they have actually like a running trail, they call it, and it's 2.5 miles and it's this red line. So it's like you know, circling the park once is basically 2.5 miles. So, yeah. All right, so these are your traditional sites that make up most of the sites here at Disney. We were in probably the only section that I think is tent camping. I don't think they get a lot here in Central Florida. Um, but all of the other sites have water, electric, and sewer. And, um, I know there are variations of these sites, like Deluxe and stuff like that, but I'm not sure what the differences are. Yeah, you but, might get like a little bit more space. Yeah, but even these like standard sites are nicer than most other campgrounds out there. Right, fully paved, manicured. Yeah, and they have nice turn radiuses. And so even though it might feel tight, it's like they've actually thought about and planned out your, your reverse radiuses. It is. It is tight in here, but, yeah, um, but very much doable. We've seen a lot of big rigs, so we know yeah. it's doable. Yeah, and like, you know, they flare out the end, so like you can reverse in. I don't know, it's hard you to explain. You can reverse at an angle. And, yeah, you yeah. can kind of like angle in, which is real nice. But yeah, I mean, all of these sites look, look real nice. minutes of leaving the park and hopping on the freeway, this happened to our truck. Exhaust system regeneration in the process. I think it's an EGR. Tune in next week to see how we handle this. Don't forget to like and subscribe.